Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Toy Geek Maniac. I am your host, Conscience Miller. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at Masters of the Universe Origins version of Mothman. This was gifted to me by a subscriber of my Amazon wish list by the name of C.A. And that's all I'm able to give away. <laughs> if you would like to help support the channel, you can do so at the end of this video. And I'll explain how to do so, and you can also be mentioned right here. Now let's open up Mossman. I had a uh, hand-me-down version of Mossman. Um, I didn't get a new in package when I was young. So to have a new in package is pretty interesting, and considering there are so many similarities between this and the original, much like the rest of the Origins figures, this is pretty astounding. So, here we go. Alright, so here we have Mossman, and just like the original figure, he is flat, so he's got a fuzzy exterior, which is really awesome. And, he smells like a facsimile of pine. Now the original, um, even though I got it second hand, uh, still reeked of pine, like pine salt pine. It was, it was pretty pungent. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get a look at articulation. He gets a little bit of a look down, a great look back, side to side, and pivot in the head. There is a lever lift in the arms, and the flocking actually goes to under his arms as well. So that's kind of interesting. No bicep turn. We do get a single jointed elbow. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Didn't expect that to happen. Thankfully, that's an easy there's a flex in the wrist. Turnable waist. <laughs> Lateral lift in the leg is nice. Single jointed knees. Flex in the foot. And the rocking side to side motion there. Now, I'm going to imagine that with wear and tear, the flocking will dissipate on this, but thankfully, I just display my figures. I don't actually play with them. So, let's take a look at his accessories. Alright, so he comes with a more modern head that is alternate, and he has another hand over here so he can hold both of his weapons. And he has his body armor. So it's more of an updated look for most of you. This head isn't flopped, however. And that's okay. It's still quite neat and I'm starting to dislike the smell of this synthetic pine that is coating him. <laughs> so I'm going to end this video right now.
Thank you so much for watching this episode of Toy Geek Maniac. I really appreciate it. You have no idea. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever Red and Sun Productions uploads a video. Also, you can help the channel grow, as I said earlier in the video, by following the links in the description, just like C.A. did. Which is so, so, so appreciated. <laughs> Alright, thank you once again for watching. Love and lights. See you all.